Good afternoon, everybody. I am back after my hiatus. Um, I was sick for a, about, about three weeks now. Um, it's been a slow process, but I'm getting better. Um, I am in my new apartment out here outside of Dallas. Um, I won't tell you the exact location just yet. But, you know, we're here and we're live uh, today um, to talk about some indoor football, arena football stuff, because I've missed a lot. Um, just recently, about a couple days ago, we got the new um, Columbus Wild Dogs, the logo, the jersey, the all that good stuff. It's still until 2022, you know, we have to wait on that. Um, players are already getting re-signed. I know there's a couple of guys from Iowa that have gotten re-signed. Um, some guys from Frisco yesterday um, that got re-signed, you know. And, you know, the thing is for the IFL, you know, there's also the rumblings of Albany coming back. Um, you know, the Albany Empire, the, the formerly of the Arena Football League that died and died again just recently, you know. Um, so there's rumors of that. There's also rumors, rumblings of Massachusetts, the Pirates, you know, those boys. I, I, said, I think I said it in the last update video that, you know, that there's probable cause that uh, Massachusetts would be leaving, and here here we are. We don't know what in the world's going on. But guys over in the Discord kind of they kind they they kind they kind of like you know make a joke out of it and uh, playing along with it too. Um, but Massachusetts is no longer at the National Arena League. But guess who is the Tampa Bay Tornadoes and the Louisville Extreme, both from the AAL, which is a sham, a despicable, disgusting practice of a thing that just exists. That that's just like this artery artery clog in your body, you know. But, but um, Louisville and Tampa Bay, they're in. I don't know what where this puts the NAL now. They're at eight teams, um, but they're kind of in a weird. You know, it's it's kind of looking like where it's you know leaning towards you know that whole single entity thing again. You know, because one group basically owns pretty much all the teams and whatnot. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, for, you know, the NAL and stuff like that. Um, CIF, nothing. Haven't heard a thing. AAL, haven't heard a thing. But it, it's, it's really been about these big two, um, IFL and AAL, that have been doing stuff. And, you know, it's curious, curious to see what in the world is going to happen in the future. Um... I don't think I covered everything, but the, most of the big stuff is already out of the way, you know. So, um, my, my niece and nephew are in the background. If you can't if you can't hear them, they are in the background there, um, in the other room. Um, but yeah, we have a long off season of arena and indoor football to come, and. I assume there's going to be more expansion, probably. You know, we're sitting at, what, 13 in the IFL right now. One team could fold. It could be one of Roy Choi's three teams leading towards Cedar Rapids. Um, that's also a thing, uh, rumored at least. Um, and then, of course, sham leagues are starting up. Doing 
you know, sham league type things, like even lower than the AAL that are starting up trying to do stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, that's July, you know, in a nutshell. Um, I've basically been gone for the pretty much the entire month. Um, but, yeah, I'm back, and we're here to do this. we got to keep rolling. Uh, I should be getting some things soon. There should be some more interesting videos on the way. If you're new to Big Boy Variety, you come on down. You subscribe, hit that like button, do all that good stuff, turn on the notification bell, and check out my blog. Um, starting to get back into that, um, and it will have my Twitter there. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.